Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I got a coffee gadget review for you and it's something that's pretty neat and I'm excited to try it out. It's called the Nano Presso and it's by Wakako, I'm not sure how to say that. But anyway, it's a little portable espresso maker um, that apparently is really good for camping and uh, just taking on vacation if you want some espresso to go. Um, maybe make some cappuccinos while you're on the go. So we're gonna be testing this out and trying it out and giving you an honest review. So stay tuned. Hello everybody, welcome back to Cork and Java, your go-to place for wine and coffee reviews and how-tos. On this channel, we like to expand and enrich your experience with all your favorite beverages. So if that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button below and the little bell so you're notified when future videos come out. All right, so the Nano Presso. Let's get right down to it. Let's see what it comes with. There's a lot of stats here on the back, like dimensions, uh, water capacity, ground capacity. Um, but the really interesting one is the maximum pressure of 18 bar and that's getting pretty up there for a lot of uh for just the small little espresso maker that's all hand pump driven so i'm excited to see what it produces uh, here's our directions and it comes in this cool little travel pouch this is it got some heft to it um, probably because it has to hold some decent amount of pressure in there so let's take, take it off here, this is I guess the water chamber and your little uh, scoop for the grounds. Comes with a little brush to clean it. Then on the other side, let's see what we got. All right, so yeah, this is where your grounds are gonna go in. And uh, let's get to it. We gotta boil some water. All right, got that water going. While we do that, we gotta grind our beans. And the beans I'm using, Sweet Maria's Sumatra. It's uh, roasted to a, a dark roast, which is kind of what you want for a uh, an espresso. Try to get something that's um, full city or full city plus. This is about a full city, what I roasted it to. So you grind it up, make sure you're uh, grinding on as fine as you can get it on your personal grinder there. You definitely want to invest in a burr grinder for uh, doing espresso. All right, so we got our grind here. I don't know how well you can see, but it's very fine, powdery in the bottom there. I'm gonna take the scoop. i to get as full as I can and take the little compartment. Fill it up, kind of fill it all the way up to the top and then pack it down in there. The directions tell you to tamp it a little bit. I have not tried this device before so I could be doing this terribly wrong. Please leave a comment below if you know what you're doing and uh, help me out there. All right, got it tamped down into a little puck. Let's put that aside. Had it upside down there. All right, so I got that. The ground's up on top. Gonna screw it up. Grounds are in there tightly. I'm gonna pre-wash this out a little bit with warm water just to um, make sure that it's warm for the boiling water. All right, put a little in there, swish around. Dump it. Follow the directions to how much water you want to put in here. I put it about halfway up. See what that does. And I got a clear glass right here so you'll be able to see what it looks like coming out. All right, screw the water compartment in. Gosh, I hope I'm doing this right. I did read the directions ahead of time, so. All right, flipped it upside down. Unlock the pump. All right, let's do this. It said about eight pumps before 
um, it's pressurized enough. I think that's six. Oh. And then you keep pumping until it's all run out. Wow, I'm already pretty impressed. It's a, a lot frothier than I expected. I expected it to kind of be like an AeroPress almost and uh, be a little bit underwhelming, just like a strong cup of coffee. But we'll see how it, how it turns out here in a second. All right, that, that'll do it. About a shot, shot and a half. Not quite a dopio, but a very nice froth to that. that I was not expecting from something, uh, one of these. But yeah, let's uh, let's give it a sniff. Mmm. Smells very creamy. Very chocolatey. I'm getting a lot of cocoa notes coming through, and that's uh, pretty characteristic of a dark roast. So let's give it a taste and uh, see how it compares to like a, a normal espresso machine. That's amazing. It's not quite as bold as you're gonna get from a typical espresso machine, but this is super smooth. It's got a really nice creamy uh, mouthfeel to it. This would be I mean, just really wonderful as a um, a cappuccino or a uh, um, Americano um, but yeah for something to travel with small lightweight man this is this is really great I'll leave a link down in the description below if you're interested in picking one of these things up it's a great addition to your coffee uh, collection here it's not as bitter as I um, was expecting it to be but um, it's also not as strong as uh, a typical um, espresso machine that is a little bit of higher caliber I would say um, typically gets but it still packs a pretty good punch for what it is yeah so leave a comment down below with what are your favorite drinks to make with espresso do you like uh, cappuccinos what kind of stuff leave a comment down below also make sure to hit us up at corkandjava.com where we catalog all our wine coffee and other beverage videos how to's and reviews so check us out at corkandjava.com. I'm also looking forward to seeing you guys in our Facebook group, Cork and Java, as well as Twitter and on Pinterest. Until next time, guys, bottoms up. Oh, yeah.